Welcome to another episode with Going Vegan with Vinita. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of our family's favorite dinner dishes, a shepherd's pie. Uh, what I love about this dish is it's super easy. It's a one pot dish. So once you've made this, you're sorted for dinner. It's oil free, gluten free, has loads of nutrients, vegetables, protein all put together. And let's get started then. We start with prepping. Uh, we take masoor dal and soak it for about 6 to 8 hours. We take cashews and soak for about 30 minutes. And you preheat your oven at 200 degrees before putting the dish into the oven. First thing that we do is work with the potatoes. Uh, nicely wash the potatoes and in the cooker, in an empty steel bowl, place the potatoes without any water. That way most of the nutrients stay intact. And of course the water is outside. You steam them for about 10-15 minutes till they are well done. So I'm now going to mash the potatoes. So the well steamed potatoes will mash fairly well. And once this is mashed, I'll tell you what we did with the cashews. The cashews that were soaked for about 30 minutes, you discard the water, add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of water and make it into a paste like this, cashew paste. And now we'll put all of this into a blender to get a nice smooth paste. We add in the nutritional yeast. Now this is an ingredient which mimics the flavor of cheese. It's optional. Uh, it is available easily now and it's a good source of B12. So if you'd like, you can add this for an nutrient boost and for a flavor of cheese. So we're going to add nutritional yeast, some lemon juice to give it that tangy feeling. Our seasonings of salt and pepper. I like to use uh, natural salt like sea salt, rock salt or Himalayan pink salt rather than only used iodized salt and some pepper powder. And now we'll give this a quick blend. Just to make it more smooth, I'm going to add a little bit of plant-based milk. You can use um, soy milk, you can use coconut milk, almond milk, any plant-based milk. Here we have our mashed potatoes ready. I'm just going to set it aside. Now that our mashed potatoes are nice and smooth, we'll add the final ingredient, the cashew paste. This not only gives it a very creamy flavor, but lots of goodness, lot of the good fat, because remember, we're not using any oil. People often ask me, oh, is it okay to eat so many nuts? But I always say one teaspoon of oil consists of, you know, how many nuts? Almost two tablespoons or three tablespoons of nuts will give you just one teaspoon of oil. So it's better to eat nuts in their whole form with the fiber. So that's our mashed potatoes with the cashew sauce. Ready? Now let's begin with our main base for the shepherd's pie and for that we're going to saute some onions and garlic. So we'll start sauteing our onions and garlic. Now we're using a heavy bottom pan which allows us to cook without oil. You might wonder how will it cook Vinita without any oil. So uh, onions have their own little bit of uh, the fat that they contain. So if you just let it work with low flame it will release its own water and it will cook really well and to maybe help it a little bit a dash of salt would help the onions to release water quickly we'll add a bit of vegetable stock and just to tell you that the masoor dal has also been cooked with the vegetable stock. It makes it nutrient as well as tasty rather than just uh, boiling the dal with plain water. So we're going to add this to the pot. We're going to add some masala, some cayenne pepper or chili powder, whatever you have. Uh, some of your favorite herbs, whichever ones you like. Mixed would do well, thyme, uh, basil, whatever you prefer. And what I've also kept ready are some steamed vegetables. I like to steam my vegetables rather than boil them because it keeps the nutrients in. Anything above 100 degrees and the vegetables start losing their nutrients. So that's why as a rule, I like to 
steam my vegetables and now we'll add this to the dal and the onions and of course some salt and some pepper and now we're going to cook all of this together for just a couple of minutes to get all the flavors in so if you see the proportion of veggies is fairly high it's uh, almost more than the dal you could play around with the proportions a little bit you could uh, make the dal slightly more or the veggies slightly more as long as you keep the total uh, quantities the same and we just let this simmer for a minute or two before we transfer them to a bowl and now we'll transfer the cooked dal and the veggies into a baking dish and even now you could check for seasonings if you feel you need a little more spice or a little more of the herbs or salt and pepper feel free to add now i'm going to flatten the layer and after this we're going to put the mashed potato filling that we had made so after the veggies are nicely flattened we'll now add the mashed potato and cashew paste mix now this is really what makes the dish mimic the cheese based filling i wish you were here to taste it you would know how how yummy it is and how close to cheese it tastes i'm just going to spread this out now the shepherd's pie is ready to go into the oven we're just going to make like a nice simple design you can be as creative as you like you can do a crisscross you can do linear whatever you like and this goes into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes so our shepherd's pie was in the oven for about 15 minutes it could take a little longer or a little less depending on your oven now remember that this tends to thicken as it cools so wait for a few minutes before you actually cut this now to serve this you could do it with a soup or a salad and some nice sourdough bread and you'll have your dinner ready Uh, so do enjoy making this recipe share it with your friends and family and let us know how it turned out if you have questions or any comments please put them in the comment section below we'll be more than happy to answer them and in the next episode we are going to be talking about nutrition as a vegan which are the nutrients to pay special attention to and all of that good stuff so stay tuned for the next episode of going vegan with vinita